House Republicans could be reaching the end of their impeachment inquiry against President Biden. This comes as the National Archives recently sent them about 6,000 pages of emails from Biden's time as vice president, adding to the other 75,000. Our Tom Dempsey is at the Capitol this morning. Tom, even with these new documents, some Republicans don't think there's enough evidence here. Yeah, good morning, Mark. Yeah, it's a big stage right now for this impeachment inquiry. Uh, right now, uh, House Republicans are continuing to pour over thousands of emails obtained over the weekend. And like you said, investigators with the impeachment inquiry are saying the inquiry could be reaching its conclusion soon. But at least one lawmaker has come forward really questioning the strength of the evidence presented thus far. Take a listen. Right now, the lawyers in the committee that I've talked to say there's not a specific crime and you need that for a high crime or misdemeanor. Now, I think the investigation was, it merited an investigation, put the facts out, let the public look at it, make a determination. And I think it's, it's good to be transparent. Now, just this past weekend, the National Archives handed over 6,000 emails dating back to then Vice President Joe Biden's time while in office. House Republicans requested the records as part of this investigation dealing with allegations that then Vice President Joe Biden made money from his son Hunter's business dealings. House Republicans also really recently called on President Joe Biden himself to testify before Congress about this investigation. The White House, though, has really pushed back against this, with one spokesman posting to social media, quote, Cobra knows 20 plus witnesses have testified that the president of the United States did nothing wrong. He knows that hundreds of thousands of pages of records he's received have refute, refuted his false allegations. This is a sad stunt at the end of a dead impeachment. Republican Congressman James Cobra, though, continues to lead this impeachment inquiry this morning, and he says the next step may involve criminal referrals. Marky. All right. Tom Dempsey, thank you so much. Live from D.C. this morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.